Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Today we have a little bit of something I'm going to call a yap session. Never done one of these before, so hopefully you guys have a good time while you're here. Now, I've realized that I've probably ostracized some of my uh, subscribers in the last couple months because I've been focusing really hard on making the videos better and stuff like that since I got my computer. But you know what? Back in ye olden days, we just spoke over some invasions, and I think I, I think that's a real thing. I bring that to you because it, it's actually harder to make those types of videos, and that's a real thing. But uh, yeah, just uh, just trying to do something a little bit simple here while I'm working on the backhand blade video. Uh, that's going to be the next big project uh, after having made the Pata video. So I'm going to make a couple of these in the meantime, just shooting the shooting the breeze, and uh, yeah, we'll have a good time. But you know, the other day I was driving home from work, right, and I came to a realization, and that is that. My my existence is pretty peaceful these days. I don't have a whole lot of uh, anger in my everyday life when it comes to things related to work, especially. Um, <laughs> look at this hot shot right here. I I, <laughs> I hard swap once, and he's and he's doing that emote even though he was just bone bowing me. Epic gamer, bro. But uh. Yeah, and it made me realize that literally the angriest in a day that I am is almost always because of Elden Ring. And I don't think that's very good. And also, this is not me saying that Elden Ring causes me all this anger. It's me saying that I shouldn't get angry uh, at a video game, you know? Because, like, sure, Elden Ring may or may not have a problem or two. Maybe. Debatably. But I should either choose to move on to something I enjoy more, or I should stop getting as upset as I do, right? And so, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I was thinking as I was driving home the other day. And I think... Um, real quick, amazing reaction time, bone bow user reaction time right there, uh, Chi Chi's dude. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's not worth getting so peeved by, by a video juego that's clearly for goofy goobers, okay? Because that, that's what Elden Ring is, it is a goofy goober game if you're looking at invasions, and that's, that's putting it nicely. And considering things like fixing the Tauntra's Tongue... Mm, we've been asking for two years and the fix has still not happened. Considering that, we may or may not get that change. Maybe. Okay. And so... May maybe... Maybe... I'll give you the best not ever. Nah, but... it. <laughs> no, like, the thing is, is that... Uh, <laughs> Uh, quick, uh, quick aside, I just did both of those walls of sparks and didn't even do 600 damage to the guy, so... Yeah, uh, obviously when you make weapons as broken as the backhand blades and Smith's grip shield, uh, in the DLC, almost like in how Tirzu wep- uh, almost said weapons, animals have to, you know, have low points in some places to min-max in other places across all of the DLC weapons, if you're gonna add things as broken as what we got from the DLC, obviously some of those things you get in the DLC have to have to be absolute garbage. They, they min-maxed the whole DLC around making certain weapons broken and making the perfumes garbage, so thank you very much, Miyazaki. I, I appreciate that. The, the, the coolest, prettiest weapon is just Dunzo. Um, uh, amazing amount of damage, very, very nice amount of damage. But uh, to get back on track, it, it occurred to me that maybe also there are other lessons, maybe there are other bits of wisdom to take from Elden Ring's 
PvP, you know, because just like any uh, fine work in, in in someone's life, right? Like whether that be a hobby or your job, usually when when you are very invested into something, it teaches you a thing or two about the human condition, okay? And and I think Elden Ring is is able to do that. What what can it do for us? As well as I think it could even teach us a thing or two about dating. So I think we should go ahead and unpeel what it has to offer. So, first things first, I think the first thing we can take away is learning why Elden Ring is bordering on a dead PvP game, right? Its PvP is borderline dead. And it's not because of bad balance, it's not because of lackluster patches, it it's kind of okay anyway the main reason that this game is close to dead is because of loneliness okay due to how the taunter's tongue works and the four player worlds invading in this game is extremely lonely and even when you do get a teammate half the time they attack you instead of the host and this this is very important because a lot of us young guys are very lonely, okay? We we might talk to people on like YouTube and Discord or wherever, but not meeting people in real life is not good for your mental. I know crazy crazy stuff coming from Sergeant Sergeant Mid, but usually it's the really simple stuff that is the fix for you, right? Um, and me personally, I don't go out and meet people near as much as I should, right? Um, I, I've wanted to, to become more social for a while, right? Go and find something to do, like, say, go find, uh, different, say, like, rock climbing club or hiking group or stuff like that. You know, things to meet people while also doing something that I care about. Uh, which I do think is the the way to go. Make sure that uh, there is a common interest. Um, it's just that, you know, usually when you get done working hard uh, after a day of work, you'd rather just focus on, you know, chilling out a little bit. And, yeah, it, it's something that I personally am going to try and overcome. Uh, um, amazing play right there blue that was that was a thing of beauty to be honest a amazing play right there yellow that was a thing of beauty to be honest just spam in the pocket playing like you have cerebral palsy that's that, <laughs> that that's great man that, that was real good um yeah so i think i think that's d definitely a an important thing to garner from elden ring don't be lonely that's right <laughs> Uh, don't don't do that. <laughs> uh, okay, but uh, anyway, so the next thing that we can learn from Elden Ring. Now the next bit is perhaps going to be more catered towards dating life and stuff like that, right? I don't think it's necessarily unique to it, but I think it's probably the most applicable there. So what's another really big issue with Elden Ring? That's right, spam, okay? Doesn't matter if it's Ash of War spam, if it's magic spam, if it's spam in a can. Spam is a problem in this game, okay? Everybody is a monkey. It's a monkey game for monkey people. And yeah, you can you can outspace and out time and all that stuff. And then the overlevel phantom has presses comment seven times within a two second time frame and your, your HP go bye bye. So, spam equal bad, and that's a bad thing to do if you're trying to, you know, hook up with a baddie, you know? Like, <laughs> if you're trying to uh, secure the... Uh, um, how do I say this and not... Um, if, if you're trying to complete God's mission, okay... Uh, then then don't 
you know, be needy and say the DMs or something like that. Like, just respond like a normal human being. And that's right. Out here with the wisdom once again. Respond like a normal human being. <laughs> no, it, it's like, for real though, like, something that you see a lot. That a lot of the, like, dating advice that you see on the internet is pretty garbage. Like... You know, obviously as a, a, a poon slan chad myself, uh, who also just happens to still have his virginity, uh, obviously I know, I, I know how to spit some game, but if there's one thing I know, it's not that you should be pretending to be busier than you are. Like, that is just... That's, that's literally just, like, creating anxiety in somebody. Just because you think that it's a good idea and that's and honestly that's pretty messed up like if you if you can't respond then you can't respond if you can respond then then do so like that's just a basic human function like respond to someone if you can but on on the on the flip side obviously uh there are people and I've done this before that try to uh respond like no 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 okay what it was is that uh when i was in california there was this um there was this really pretty uh girl that i worked with at trader joe's and there there were pretty much either she was just a very very laughing bubbly girl or she had a crush on me okay i, I <laughs> it's one of the two, and I, and I think it's the latter based on certain interactions, but when I eventually got her number, she would respond with, like, uh, like five messages at one time, and I almost started, like, reflecting this energy because I was like, oh, she just doesn't like talking in full sentences, but when, when I tried doing that in the future, I felt like an absolute dumb dumb you know, so, <laughs> uh, maybe don't do that. That That's our next bit of thing. Don't, don't spam. Don't spam. Our next little bit of life advice from Elden Ring is we need to look at one of the strongest general ideas, general tools for an invader, right? What do you do when people are all up on you? You have a get off me tool, okay? And that's important, guys. If if someone's on you, and they're touching you in a way that you're not okay with, you first say no, and then you call your parents. You <laughs> you, you make sure that uh, you have a get-off-me tool, right? What I'm saying is, in real life, you might need to waves of darkness some hoes. I won't cap with you, okay? So, yeah, obviously... Uh, <laughs> I can't take myself seriously, bro. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I know these are some hard truths to, to make light of, but I think that they're obviously extremely important and also extremely true. But uh, with that being said, I'm going to call it a day. Uh, these were some fun invasions, and here soon I will do some stuff on my Rune Level 80 character. And have a good one, everyone. Peace.